hello guys so we will try to identify some more objects the xpath and css and we'll try to understand some more concepts in xpath and css so let's say this is the site we have right uh, registration page of uh, this application spice jet now uh, we want to identify this title okay how do you do that so when you uh, just click on that and uh, click on that and when you hover here you can see that the html part right here you have select id is equal to this and uh, name is equal to this so it's very big name very big id right how we should write a xpath and how we should write a css so let me write the first css let me try the css first so we'll go for command f and here we can write select at id and you write power power means start with okay power means start with because here one thing we can see is the id is very big this id is very big so maybe sometimes what happens is you might get a locators where few part of the id will be fixed and few part will change so how do you identify that so i will remove from the last assume that you have only this part which is fixed okay only uh, you have this part right which is fixed after underscore the part which will always change just assume that like you have such kind of uh, locators where uh, the starting part is not changing and ending part is always changing so you can go uh, you can write a css path like this select at id so, sorry don't use at select id start with see you are able to identify but you are able to identify almost nine elements guys see all nine elements has the same uh, id right so this is also a good point when you have like that okay so let me go to the first one first this is the third fourth fifth sixth and this is the first one okay so there is something called at name is equal to drop down list and title okay and uh, there are something called option here we have so we can uh, write like this and then we have something called option so what we can do is let me do uh, by writing select sorry option let me write that oh with this we have around 478 objects so we cannot identify so i cannot go with that right but what i can do there is a nine object so selenium has a facility where you can read all the object with this common id and you can get of zero get of one get of two that app facility is there in the selenium here my main intention was to just to teach you when let's say you have id and where the beginning is not changing end is changing you can go like this you can use this concept and you can go ahead or we have something called name here right so i i believe uh, this name should work fine for us so let me yeah let me get the name data let me not use this okay now i can get the name data so here i can write in quote and i can remove something from the end let's say person input assume that the bracket and here i'll put a name okay so with this also again nine object okay with this also we have a nine object right so this is the way guys so in actually in uh, css that's how we write start with right like some object you want to identify through a start with in css you can write like this cap similarly you have let's say you have something called ends with so how do we write 
so start with we are able to identify there is there is no problem at all okay because though we are getting multiple choice but selenium has the method which we'll see going forward you can identify the object based on the uh, common element and then you can uh, do a get of zero get of one right now here we will do end with so assume that the beginning will always change so we can just write here dollar and we can put a colon i mean quote here see this is 100 percent fine so this is working fine ends with when i'm using ends with so assume that you have a big uh, name or big id value right so your ending of id or ending of name which is not changing but the beginning of that so let's say control groups registration view let's say this is always changing but the last person the person input register this is not changing for this object so we can go with ends with so this will help us to do that ends with so we'll go, i'll just copy here this is nothing but ends with so this was with a start with you can just write a start hyphen with and this is called ends with ends hyphen with this is a css example right a start with end with now how do you try in case of xpath so just for xpath just write double slash at name and here you write start hyphen with start with and uh, at name start with yeah so at okay i think there, there is some uh, syntax problem here so let me get the syntax of that start with so let me just google it for quick start with xpath yeah cool so just let me get the syntax so that I can use that. Yeah, so just we need to write a start with actually uh, I was doing the right but this is the syntax. So there was some mistake which I did at the start with at name i mean whatever locator you have so we can go here and sorry i copied so many times so let me remove this yeah and uh, this what we can do like what i had here so uh, we just need to write at select start with so inside that we need to write everything okay start with so name whatever i wrote outside i have to write inside so just write it starts with it starts with and uh, then you write a bracket at name is equal to whatever we have so let me remove this right so now we should be able to identify start with so this is uh, something called not a start with this is ends with because uh, this was the ending one which we took so we'll write ends with at name is equal to this so ends with so i think it, it's the same same syntax right I start with at okay it's not equal to guys so we have something called okay at name is equal to this why this is not working this is ends with so this should work ideally ends with at name is equal to person input registration yeah this should go fine 
that's what they have written at input this is a start with similarly it works the ends with so there will be something called ends with also let me see the syntax here so I cannot see the syntax here for ends with but what we can do is just to cross check I can just write a starts with it starts with and uh, let me uh, take the beginning of that any one uh, ID or something so I am just taking for the ID and let me remove this and if I write at ID cool this is working so one out of nine so this is start with is also working in the X path so though we are getting nine objects but through selenium we can handle so this is working this is a start with with the X path right I will try to look for the ends with also because no, right now I am not able to get the ends with uh, there is a some problem which I will try to figure out uh, or it may be the case that the ends with will not be available or quickly I can check here itself uh, if ends with command is there I can just check here instead of starts with I, let's say if I write uh, end with selenium yeah it shows that okay it's saying that does not work okay it's not working okay so guys ends with will not work actually so that's what people has written here it's not working lot of people has written not working not working if at all it will work I'll let you know so where you should use a start with and ends with uh, in case of uh, the CSS and uh, X path wherever the part of object is always changing okay wherever the part of object is changing you should go for that let me uh, ch uh, check this example I think uh, he has written it is working but I believe ends uh, with in selenium does not work even I tried the last time it was not working it's saying that tools technology used that is fine what some okay thanks no thanks no thanks plus oh yeah so let me see that if he has used ends with I cannot see that this is the first of all he has not written at all so working with xpath you said this is fine does not work and with in xpath is not working so that's what a lot of people has claimed that similarly contents will not work in the CSS that's what I have tried and uh, so nobody I will try to check this ends with offline and if I'll come to know I'll update to the uh, I'll update with the video okay so here I can see that I tried this what wrong with ends with I'm using this this it's not so people are saying that ends with, ends with is not working okay no problem I'll check that uh, some more uh, blog and we'll try to figure out thank you guys thank you for watching this